Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of Far Cry 6. So we've got a new mission and we're going to destroy some bitches. Ow. Hola guerrilla. Time for a test drive of that Supremo. Now if things get too heavy with the soldados, just pull the trigger. But one tiny, tiny thing you should know. Uh-huh. The Supremos are in an experimental phase. They need time to breathe after you use them. You know, so they don't overload and kill you. Could have told me before I strap one to my back. Just let that Supremo feed off the blood of your enemies. What? <laughs> You'll get it, Danny. <laughs> You'll get it. Hey, here. This way. Shit, you actually showed up. Listen, I'm not going to bullshit you. I wanted to do this alone, but Clara gave me an order. I can handle myself. Don't give a shit. So could Lita. She should be here right now, but instead, I get you. And I'm supposed to be in Miami. But instead, my two best friends are dead, and I'm stuck here with you. So, truce? Enough talk. Step one, we hit the tobacco. Step two, we destroy their poison supply. Step three, we get the fuck out of there and Castillo gets a nice pretty message from Libertad. Got it. Um, Take this gear. It'll protect you from fire, and more importantly, Castillo's fucking poison. Using the right protective gear in the right situation will keep you alive. Yeah, the right tool for the right job. Been hearing that a lot lately. Listen, Julio. Lita was like a sister to me. She shouldn't have been on that fucking boat. She died because of you, Rojas. No. Anton Castillo killed Lita. If I could change anything, it would be me dying on that beach. Lita was a better person than I could ever be. And if she loved you, well, that just says a lot about who you are. Enough. Look, if you and I are going to do this, you need to know about the poison. You mean that shit they spray on the leaves? Its real name is PG-240, but we call it poison because it fucks up your system. Try not to breathe it or get it on your skin. It can make you go fucking crazy or sick, like deep down sick. And if that doesn't get you, the cancer that grows inside you will. Goño. So you're military. Marksman? Close us all? What's your thing? I'm good with guns. We get along. We'll start thinking. That gear I gave you is good for fire and poison, but guerrillas need gear that fits their style, no matter the situation, or they get themselves killed. This is a good place to scout it. Right behind you. Let's see what we're up against. Up here, Dali. C 
see the Viviro tobacco and the yellow poison tanks? See. Si. Punch holes in the tanks to let the poison out into the air. Fun fact. Poison and fire make a hell of a mix. Big boom. Same idea with the fumigators. They're hard to kill, but they can't take the heat. You've got a flamethrower. You've got that Supremo. Time to fuck up all this Viviro bullshit. You know, Lita and I had a ritual. Psych us up before battle. A song. Hit me. El movimiento de libertad. The Supremo is fucking perfecto! Si. Don't you need the recharge? The Supremo loves it when you kill more soldados. I could swear I hear Muse go! Get away from here! Now.
On my way. Burning sheet with a flamethrower? Felt familiar. Keep on them! <laughs> Shit. You really can hold your own. I don't want to say I told you so, but... Look, we should move. That was a hell of a light show, and they're going to see the smoke. We work well together. See, si. Listen, if you were good with Lita, you're good with me. Gracias, Danny. Meet you back at camp. Oye, Clara, I hope you can see the smoke from where you are. You struck a blow against Castillo today. I hope Julio wasn't too rough on you. He's hurting, but okay. I think Lita would be smiling right now. Danny, there's someone I want you to meet. His name is Benito. He's a local fisherman, which means boats for Libertad. He lives on the east side of Casas Cove. Always got time to make new friends. You're building bridges for me, Danny. It's your gift. We need Benito. Talk to him. Okay then, so I'll go to the map. Dímelo. Let me guess. Clara Garcia talked you into this. She even had us fishers hooked on her libertad nonsense. Suerte, compay. You want me to steal one? It's been doing that since I was a kid. You're in the big leagues now. You need a car? Just call for one. I'll have a friend bring it right to you. Gracias. But you don't have any friends, Juan. 
Just shut up and call for a car, Danny. Uh, okay, how do I do that? Okay. See the bullet hole. Juan, this is a nice car. That's not a car, Danny. That is a 1956 Beaumont Valentina. She's a work of art. Just like me. Except I don't have a ram welded to my chassis to fuck up anyone who gets in your way. You're definitely one of a kind. <laughs> now go get those fascists, Tiger! into the province of Bencejo. Yeah, taking care of a Comandante problem for Benito. Watch yourself. The military in Bencejo is much stronger, better equipped, and better trained. Find some high ground, do some scouting before you pull the trigger. Rule number nine, right to... Rule number ten. Fire. Shut the fuck up. You're an adult and can make your own decisions. Spread your wings and fly, little bird. Ooh. Adios, Rosario! He's down. Okay.
take that. Okay, now I need to... I think my Supremo can kill that tank. Or maybe I can steal it. Benito, you won't be seeing Rosario anymore. You sold you the unit, Danny. You are just turning things around. But the job's not done. Head to that fuel station and finish it. Heading to the fuel people. Benito wants me to take it back from the army. It's an FMD base now. Danny, the army has bases all over the island. We want freedom. We want to break their grip on the island. 
I'll do what I can, Clara. Clara, I'm at the depot. Libertad needs that fuel. So taking that depot isn't just about dealing with the army. It also means securing that gasoline. You've got to do this smart, Danny. Find some high ground and use your phone to scout with cameras and alarms. Yeah, yeah, I got you. bananas so Okay Benito Rosario is dead and the fuel is flowing again. See, si, carajo. I admit I got my doubts about Clara, but I never doubted you, compai. I know a thing or two about looking out for your own. Tell Clara I'm heading to her camp. She's got our boats and our support. Gracias, Danny. All right, so that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes episode three of Firefly 6.